New information, Alabama's recently redrawn congressional district map preserves nearly 30 years of a single majority black congressional district. Well, now a federal court has blocked it, saying it has to be drawn again. Let's go live to Way 31's Xavier Wary, who spoke with the Alabama Republican Party chairman today. Xavier. Hey, Dan, so Chairman John Wall says that these current district lines, they've been in place for multiple decades. So he's curious as to why the federal court believes now is the time to change those district lines. Now, Wall also says that the timing of the federal court's decision to block the map due to the current map having only one majority minority congressional district comes at a poor time since the decision came a week before qualifying. Wall also says that for minorities, he has some concerns about the new court order. Minorities deserve representation. Um, I think the seventh congressional district having that representation is good for the state of Alabama. And this court court order actually concerns me because it would take away that district that is majority um, African American. Now, Wall also mentioned that having two majority black congressional districts does not seem attainable due to the geographical landscape. And I also spoke with the Alabama NC NAACP president, and he says that voting, having your voice being heard and representation, all of those things matter. And he firmly believes that we can have two black, con two majority black congressional districts in the state of Alabama. But for now, reporting live in Huntsville, Xavier Wary, Way 31 News.